muted bump and click. I grabbed my jacket and briefcase. I needed to get away. But George started shouting immediately. I put my stuff down again. How could you not let me know that this was happening in our classrooms? Your students could have been in danger. The school could be sued. Not hearing a word, I focused on what had happened. When George ran out of rant, I said, George, if I had told you, what would you have done? Would you have believed me? Or had me arrested or called a shrink? Well, I don't know, but... And he stopped. Ashley watched silently, glanced at Sandy, understood I wanted to escape. After I suggested that they sit down, George said, Well, I really should report this. George, think about what you're saying. Please sit down. Now. Surprised at my tone, George sat. I moved the books from my chair back to my desk and sat. Ashley grabbed a chair three desks over and one row behind, out of George's sight. Sandy sat in front of me. George said, What did he say to you when he was leaving? He said he'd see us at graduation. My cheeks, not liking the falsehoods, twinged. Did he really? I heard the voice of a kid offered chocolate. He'll be here if he can. I told him to think how impressive he would be sitting on the stage with the president. I warned him that a Secret Service detail would be with him. I suggested George might plan a dinner. George, imagine the pictures in the newspapers, the national TV coverage. You might even be on YouTube. 